My research focuses on various strategies how we can prevent, treat and delay frailty in older adults. My name is Dr. Agatha Daria Jacek. I am a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Adelaide, geriatrics training and research with HK Center. I am based at the Basel Hetzel Institute for Translational Health Research at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Frailty is an age-related syndrome that is characterized by a decline in physical function and performance. Frailty places an older person at an increased risk of negative health outcomes. Some signs of frailty include slow walking speed, unintentional weight loss, feeling weak and exhausted, and having low physical activity. When older people are frail, they are more likely to fall, end up in hospital, lose their independence, and have a lower quality of life. We know that over 50% of older people who are frail experience a fall each year. And with an aging population, this is a growing problem. But frailty is reversible. Exercise programs that include aerobic, strength, balance and flexibility are actually the most effective way to treat, delay and prevent frailty in older adults. One innovative aspect of our research is to use the sport of judo to help older people to be best prepared in case they do fall. If we can teach people how to fall safely, they protect their head, their hip just preserves people's quality of life and improves their capacity to do things. It makes sense because if older people learn how to fall safely, they can avoid injury, not end up in hospital or have other negative health consequences. In collaboration with the University of Adelaide Judo Club, we conducted an eight-week judo-based exercise study involving older adults aged between 66 and 87 years. We found that our program was safe and improved both physical performance and balance. Pre-fail participants, those who are at higher risk of becoming frail in the near future, were actually those that improved the most. So it's a complement to what's going on in your life. I mean, in terms of things like gardening and, and you know, weeding, like I know it's helping to get down lower uh, to do those sorts of things. I'm able now to do the things that I want to do and to keep doing the things I was doing when I thought I might have to give them away. We have published this research in the International Journal of Frailty and Aging. We are very happy to see that some of our study participants continued with the Judo Club and have now been graded the Yellow Belt in Judo. This program is still being offered by the Adelaide University Judo Club with growing interest from the community. We don't want our population to just age. We want to find the best ways for them to age well, stay healthy and remain independent.